whether Mera 25 would manage to reach the 3% cutoff or not, enter parliament or not, is not the issue. The serious issue is the lament of the Greek left tonight. Because we failed. We failed on two grounds. We failed to convert the 10 year, 12, 15 year massive resistance of the Greek people against the austerity from the Troika, from the European Union, from the local oligarchy, into a progressive front. And we also failed to prevent the conversion of the rage of the population into a right-wing, ultra-right-wing, racist wave. I want to thank the members of our alliance, of our progressive alliance, of our left-wing alliance, of our ecological alliance, especially the independents who came out over the last couple of weeks in full support of Mera 25. We are going to honor their trust. As of tomorrow morning, Mera 25 begins regrouping and working towards the reconstitution of a pluralist, ecological, uh, unifying left, the kind of left that these people, the people of Greece, have the greatest need to represent them in Parliament at a time when this kind of left will be absent from the next Parliament. But nothing is lost permanently. Let me remind our comrades, our friends, our foes, that uh, back in September 2009, a systemic, traditional government won with 44% of the vote. And a few months later, the whole system started collapsing under the weight of its hubris, debts, and of course, its lies. I want to thank everybody who voted for Mera 25 today uh, and dispel the rumor, the malicious rumor that Mera 25 disappeared. And I want to call upon all progressives in Greece, but also beyond Greece, to help DiEM25, to help Mera25, to help themselves create a genuine progressive alliance with no hegemonies, no authoritarianism within our ranks, because together we're going to move forward. Lastly, a huge thank you to all DiEMers, all members of DiEM25, all members of the Progressive International, everyone who has been egging us on, supporting us, sending us wishes, having us in their progressive and radical thoughts, carpe diem.